Cities, they are fascinating centers of life, vibrant and dynamic concentrations of people and artifacts. And what we can see of them is only a glimpse of how they function and how they are organized for our health and for our well-being. In the past, when we talk about urbanization, it's more about business, jobs, income, GDP. And we have learned from those experiences that um, it's not enough. Cities are now our dominant habitat. We are now 7.4 billion people on planet Earth. We will be 9.5 billion in 2050. 1.4 million people are added to urban areas each week. Also depends on your income, your education, your social relationship, how many friends you have. This depends on the environment you are in. We really should protect rather than demolish when we develop new city centers. We should consider our cultural heritages, our tradition, so that the city is not just a new city, new buildings. It has history, it has culture, the position, and people can really enjoy not just the present day, but those our ancestors have created the arts the architecture, the way that they live together, all this will be very valuable as a, as a the identity of, of city. Watch this demonstration. Health is a state of complete physical, social, and the mental well-being and it's not merely absence of disease and infinity. The challenge to health and well-being are largely caused by the increasing urban connectivity, rapid urban changes and the lacking capacity to detect, react and adjust to them in time. national program, scientists, policy makers and the practitioners, we can use this platform to exchange ideas, experiences and to co-deliver our knowledge. Science is not an end in itself. Society needs to engage and ask the right questions so that science helps us to shape the urban lives we want to live. That is the purpose of the ICSU program on urban health and well-being, the systems approach, which is supported by the United Nations University and the Inter-Academy Medical Panel. We want to better understand how urban systems work for human health and well-being and we want to make systems of knowledge work to support stakeholders in actively engaging in the co-creation of their urban environments.